Howdy friends, this is Mike from All Training Family. Today we're up on the Hunter Lake Road just outside of Reno with my friend Harry Wagner who's an off-road journalist and photographer and uh, of course Burad Davidson who everybody knows. Um, we're learning about the new jack from ARB. They just call it the jack. It's right here. It's cool. It's an aluminum hydraulic off-road jack. It's very similar to the jack that you might all know about. Um, a handyman jack, a farm jack. The example we have over here next to the um, ARB jack is the high lift jack. This is pretty much a standard off-road uh, tool for lifting your vehicle in gnarly situations. You need something like this because it's usually difficult to get to the underside of the vehicle to use a bottle jack or a scissor jack or something like that. And plus, most of these vehicles that, that people drive around, even minimally lifted vehicles like mine, um, just don't work with the regular factory jacks. So. Harry's been doing some research and some writing about this jack, so we're going to let him show us how it works, and then we're going to do a comparison um, to compare it to the standard high lift jack, uh, and we'll see how that goes. So this is the new ARB jack, and it has an extruded aluminum body with these different keyways in it. So you can actually move the foot as low as six inches, but up as high as 24 inches, so you don't have to use the whole jack to start lifting your vehicle. They've even got this thoughtful little bumper here you can keep from rubbing the paint on your rock sliders or your bumpers. And then the jack is hydraulic in nature and it's incredibly easy to operate, even though it lifts up to 4,400 pounds. So perfect for full-size trucks, heavy Jeeps, really any SUV. They use a spherical bearing in the foot which allows it to stay level with the ground making the jack incredibly stable and safe. And then when you go to lower the jack, it has a two-speed lowering mechanism or bleed. And if you're trying to say, line up your sway bar disconnects or something of that nature, you want fine precision, then you can just let it slowly lower. Or when you're ready to hit the trail and you're done using your jack, press it all the way down and it'll lower quickly. You're back in business. All right, so we, Harry showed us how this ARB hydraulic jack works, and I've never touched it before, so I'm going to take a try and see how easy it is to figure out on the first try. Um, so basically you flip this up, you find the keyhole you want to put it into, bring it up under the bumper, I'm going to put it in the next one, bring it up under the bumper, put this little rubber thing here to keep it from bonking. How nice is that? So So it sits nice and flat on the on this rock slider there and you pump it up. Now the things that are noticeable about this is how easy it is to push down. One finger, my fingers are incredibly strong, but still but also like it just sits there. It doesn't come back up, right? So you got to pick it up. If you've never used a high lift jack, you'll know how important that is. Or if you have used a high lift jack, you'll know how important that is. So it goes up, 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 up. And we're almost got the back tire off the ground. Yep, back tires, back tires up and it's really stable. So you ordinarily wouldn't want to try shaking the vehicle with a high lift jack because they're just not stable. So that's pretty nice. In fact, I'm worried about that high lift jack just falling down just on the tire there. So here's the valve to bring it down. And if you put your hand on it like this, it's easy to bring it down slowly, slow. And then if you really want to bring it down quickly, you just hit it and bring it down and then you just push it down the rest of the way put your foot to the bottom and you're done let's compare it to the high lift jack high lift jack is heavier it's definitely heavier. 
It's not a lot heavier, but it's definitely heavier. And this arm falls down. So this is super complicated and hard to figure out. So in this configuration, it should just come right up. So it slides up and it drops down. So if you drop it, you drop it on your foot. Get it into position and engage the mechanism. Okay. And then you start jacking. Now this one takes a lot more force, but also before the bottom pin engages, it's all that force is still in it. So it'll spring back up. And so they say you want to keep your face out of that, out of the way. But with a fairly light vehicle like this, that's easy to do. Uh, with a heavier vehicle, it's not so easy. Big vehicle, you put a lot of force on this. So as these pins engage, it just climbs up this ladder and lifts the vehicle up. I'm not going to try and push this around much because I know that it's not that stable. Um, the base doesn't pivot and then also the gear, the, uh, the tooth or the, the step here is only connected on the very end where it tips up. Plus if it tilts at all, this bar here is going to go right into the door and that's not good. You also don't want to put your hand behind here because your hand could get stuck to the door if the vehicle moves, vehicle rolls, particularly if you're jacking from the back and the vehicle rolls forward or backwards, it's going to pinch you. So the higher you get, the harder it is. So we're going to go down now and to go down, you've got to push this and disengage it. It's not easy. You can't just push it with your hand. So good technique. Let's use your foot. Okay. So now we've got a, we've, it's sitting on the top pin and we're going to lower the bottom pin and then put pressure on this. The top pin should release. No. There we go. The thing about these jacks is they never really work all that well, but it never really gets that bad. They always work somehow. So sometimes it's really difficult. So now the top releases, the bottom catches, lowers, and it just walks down. But it's still like it's still super sketchy as long as there's any any force on it, it's kind of sketchy. So be careful the whole way down. And then when it gets done, you cycle it again. And it should fall to the ground. And you move your foot out of the way and you pack it back up and you're done. So which of these is better? I'd say the high lift jack is, I've never had one not work. I've had them very hard to make work and you've got to put some oil on them. You've got to keep them out of the dust and the water and everybody's got them strapped to the top of the car, the bumper. Sometimes I've seen them on like the bottom of the bumper and that's a great place to put them if you want to have them be hard to really hard to use when you get where you're going and get a flat tire. Um, but with a little bit of lube, a little bit of grease, you can make it work and they sell a rebuild kit and you can fully rebuild it on the trail. You might not even need tools. Certainly you could do it with just a couple tools. Um, the ARB jack is very easy to use. It's not particularly dangerous. It's very stable. It's very expensive. Um, it, 
It will work really well, as you saw it here on the side, on the rear bumpers to jack your vehicle um, for whatever reason. But if you ever need to use it as like a winch, I don't know if you've ever seen people use a, a high lift jack to jack sideways. This one, this one won't do that at all. Harry's tried. So I personally have never needed to do that. So it's probably not something that I would really worry about. I also don't have $800 to spend on a jack. This is about 150 bucks. So that in a nutshell is the ARB hydraulic jack. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think about my incompetence with this jack as well as my assessment of this jack. Thanks for watching and happy trails.